Hey, I want you more. Your heart is true, it's pure. I wonder if you even see me. Hey man, I just got this new microphone, so it's time for the wavy rain. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com and this channel is all about helping you record and mix better and faster. The Wavy right now is all about me trying it before you buy it. Cause I know y'all all shopping for studio gear and everything like that. And I don't want you to spend your money unwisely. So I'm gonna always make sure I can cop the latest and greatest put my hands on it, put my ears on it, let you know my honest opinion so that if it fits your situation, you can go copy one too. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Audix PDX720 microphone, man. And the Wavy rating is going to rate this thing in 10 different categories so that you can know whether it's a cop or a drop. The 10 categories include features, build quality, aesthetics, support, versatility, ease of use, performance, availability, the price, and of course, the wavy factor to sum it all up. Now, I do wanna thank Audix for sponsoring this video. You know they can sponsor the video, but they can never sponsor my opinion. And to top it off, they will be giving away one of these PDX 720 microphones, the gold standard. <laughs> for you to win. All you gotta do is click the details in the description, click that link down there, and go ahead and sign up to win if you wanna get this bad boy for free in your studio. Now, let's get into it. All right, let's get this thing unboxed. Ooh, got a little plastic on it. I like the box. The presentation is definitely hitting. The presentation all around, all right? It's the PDX720 Signature Series. They even got me a special little letter, handwritten. Uh, well, you know, they put my name on the back and let me know that this is microphone 63 out of 150. Definitely a special edition. I like the touch there. Um, already, it's, fe it's feeling like a premium product, man. Let's go ahead and, and take this thing. I'm gonna open this up. Whoa, look at how that box opens. Whoa, boy. <laughs> look at how that box opens, y'all. All right, boom. There's the microphone, nothing to it, nothing much to it. I'm gonna go ahead and take this microphone out of the box and see if there's anything else in here. <clears throat> Dang, they got this thing in here, in here. All right, <laughs> so I'm gonna let y'all take a look at this mic. Beautiful microphone. It's a hypercardioid dynamic microphone. All right. The build, it feels mad sturdy. I like how it has this uh, kind of mount already put on it and, it and it got the tilting feature. It looks kind of like an old school race car, man. Can't cap. This actually looks very nice. Now, of course, this is gonna be a front address microphone. Oh, hold up, y'all. We just check this, check me out. Can we see that? Check me out right there. What'd that say right there? Wavy wing inscribed on the microphone, bro. They actually, let me see, is that? Yeah, they actually engraved that, inscribed it on there. This is the signature series. It's the Wavy Wayne signature series. That's lit. Um, this is heavy duty, and you can tell by the way that this is actually shaped. So this microphone is very similar to other broadcast style microphones. Even got the, the mount on it. Uh, let me see, oh, it's got a little cap in the back that pops up, it's a little magnetic. And back here, this is where you have a bunch of different adjustable parameters uh, for the mic. So that's pretty cool. I like that they got this little cap that you just cover it up to keep it nice and sexy. It doesn't fall off easily or anything like that. This microphone feels very good and sturdy in the hand. I'm gonna sit it down real quick and let's see what else we have in the box. The only other thing in this box is really simple is this little pamphlet. <laughs> um, it has some really, really small writing on it that I'm not even going to try to read, but yeah, that's it. This is the only thing that is in the box right now. All right, now let's talk about the features of the Audix PDX720 Hyperdynamic Cardioid Vocal Microphone. Damn, that's a lot. I hope I got it right. 
Either way, the microphone is a dynamic mic. It got the hypercardioid polar pattern that sounds excellent on many different sources. It has high gain level, which means that you don't have to go and get a cloud lifter. This microphone has plenty of gain. For a dynamic mic, you won't need a cloud lifter. Even if you're doing like spoken word or like, you know, poetry, broadcasting, podcasts, all of that stuff, you'll be able to use this no cloud lifter. It also includes a high pass filter switch with settings at 120 hertz and 155 hertz, a presence boost switch with settings at 1.5 dB and 3 dB, a frequency response of 50 to 20 kilohertz, and the maximum SPL is 135 dB. So you can use this for even drums, right? Really loud sources, or it can be used for sensitive stuff like talking or vocals even, right? Designed, machined, and tested in Oregon, all right? So shout out to Audix again. Let's now rate this microphone. So the first rating is gonna be on features. And you know, for a mic like this, for it to include everything that it has, let me just see. Check out these things right here. So we got the, yep, we got our uh, roll off. It's got two different settings for that and off as well. So I guess there's three different settings. And then we even got a presence boost. Oh man, I love how they, if you see there, it even has the, the number uh, of what microphone this is. When I told y'all this is a special edition for me. So that's number 63 out of 150. Um, I'm gonna get this microphone a complete 10 out of 10 on the Wavy rating for Features, man. I mean, for a dynamic microphone, I have similar microphones to this, and they don't have all of the features that this has. Um, so, 10 out of 10 on features. Now, let's talk build quality. This thing feels like a tank. It's heavy. Make sure that you have a proper mic stand, especially if you're going to be desk mounting this. I know they sell a lot of these uh, desk mounted mic stands on Amazon and stuff like that that are really cheap and flimsy. Don't get the Timu mic stand. Make sure that you got a good one for this microphone because it has some weight to it. Um, the build quality is all metal design. I can really tell that they take their time on the, the design and they put that wavy Wayne on there. Come on, 10 out of 10, boy, quick plant. All right, now when it comes to the aesthetics of this microphone, you already saw how impressed I was. Like, look at that, that looks like a fast car or something like that, right? Or a, a nice boat. I love the gold accents all around the microphone. I just, I think that it looks really good. I love that they put this, uh, again, this little connector on there. Got the, the way that this is set up is, is nice. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10 on aesthetics, this is beautiful. Especially got the little cap on the back to hide the controls. Come on, what other microphone you know do that, right? So that you don't gotta see ugly buttons and stuff, you can just cap that off. That's, that's lit, all right? 10 out of 10 on aesthetics. When it comes to support, I had to go and get my magnifying glass and look at these tiny little writings on here, but it does let you know that they will support this microphone for three years after you purchase it, which is pretty dope. And of course, you can get it from Sweetwater too, which will give you another two years of support but i love the fact that the manufacturer already stands behind their product and includes the three-year warranty with this microphone so yes 10 out of 10 on support now let's talk versatility straight off the bat i see that this microphone can be used for many different things with it having the high gain right that means you can use it for soft vocals or soft instruments but it also has a high spl uh, capability too so you can use it on really loud stuff like drums or guitar cabinets this microphone has pad switch oh no not a pad but it's got a roll off right it's got the roll off with two different settings and even a presence booth boost with two different settings. So it's highly versatile for a dynamic microphone. I can see this being used in so many different instances from recording vocals to podcasting to live on stage performances, um, recording drums or guitars even. I'm gonna give this microphone a complete 10 out of 10 on versatility, man, no cap. When it comes to ease of use, this microphone, it, I don't think it could be any simpler. Uh, we got basically we got our mount already connected we don't have to connect the mount we just need to connect our xlr here and we don't need to hit any phantom power or anything it's a dynamic microphone so really all we need to do is plug it up and record enable our track i don't think microphones get any easier than that 10 out of 10.
so now we got to really get down to the nitty gritty and understand the performance capability of the Audix PDX 720 Wavy Wayne Signature Edition. <laughs> yes, this, this one sounds like all the rest, but this one looks better, all right? <laughs> so what we're gonna do is actually, I'm gonna set this microphone up. I'm gonna set it up right on my desk, just like I would uh, my other dynamic microphone that I would talk into for YouTube videos and other online stuff that I might be doing. Um, I'm gonna put it right on my desk, and I'm gonna also have Lydia come through and sing some stuff into the mic too. So we're gonna test that out, and we'll be right back with the wavy rating of the performance all right y'all so here i am on my first ever trying out the audix pdx 720 hyper cardioid dynamic vocal mic i can't believe i got it that time um but yeah this is how the microphone sounds only thing I did to this microphone was use the high pass filter setting that they have on the back. That way I can help to eliminate some of the plosives. We don't have a, a pop filter or a little windscreen. Um, having one of those on this microphone, I feel would like really take away from the beautiful design of it. So I think if you just get uh, kind of creative and just have the placement of the microphone correct in conjunction with that high pass filter And also we can just give ourselves a little space. I think about um, What's that about six seven inches away from this microphone? We don't have to be really close because the gain is uh, it got a nice gain So let me know what y'all think in the comments, but before Before this test is over. I'm gonna get Lydia to come on this microphone and actually let us hear what a female sounds like on this microphone. So she'll be talking and then doing some singing and hopefully she won't try to tell no jokes. Lydia, are you ready? All right, you guys, thanks for coming out to my stand up tonight. Women be shopping, don't they? <laughs> Women be shopping. I had to tell a little joke, a little stand up just because Wayne tried to come for me. But anyway, this is how the mic sounds on a woman's voice. I think my voice is a little bit more deep and husky than most women, so I'm not sure how accurate, but you can hear the difference between me and Wavy. And uh, yeah, I think it sounds nice. It sounds smooth. It's giving radio vibes. Welcome to the quiet storm. My name is Lydia Caesar, and I will be your host tonight. We're going to get into some smooth jazz, some R&B. I think I sound good on the radio. This mic actually sounds really, really nice. I like it. Um, so now I should just sing a little something. Every day I want you more. Your heart is true. It's pure. I wonder if you even see me. The nights are long without you here. My mind goes places. My heart feels fear. I wait for the day you come set me free. Sounds nice. All right, y'all. So I have just put the Audix PDX720 through its paces. Um, and when it comes to performance, I'm going to have to give this microphone a 9 out of 10. Now, the reason that I'm going to go with a 9 out of 10 it sounds really good. It does. Like the high end is great. The body is there, but it just kind of is a little extra sensitive on the plosives. Now, I don't want to have to get a pop filter and put in front of this microphone that would just take away from the design and it doesn't have like a screen on it. So that, that would also take away. Um, so you just got to be a little bit mindful of the position and your placement when talking into this microphone that you could possibly get a little bit careless with in a real life scenario and pick up a little bit more plosives than you wanted to whenever using this mic for vocals. So that's why the performance is going to get a nine out of 10. All right, so now you know ever since that thing happened in 2020, a lot of products have been kind of back ordered. They slow to arrive. So I'd like to rate products on their availability because I don't want to just be sitting here talking about it and then you can't even get it. So I'm going to go ahead and search for this. This is the Audix PDX 720. I'm just popping it into a Google search and seeing, yep, everybody has it. Everybody has it. Uh, all my favorite spots to shop online has this microphone. Let me make sure that it's in stock and ready to ship. Yes, in stock, ready to ship. But yeah, every place that I love to shop online for studio gear has this microphone in stock and ready to ship. We're gonna have to give a 10 out of 10 on availability, man. 
let's talk about price because we've been giving a lot of tens today. We've been giving a lot of tens. I ain't gonna cap, but the price is seven hundred and ninety nine dollars. Now seven hundred and ninety nine dollars for a dynamic microphone that is going to sit on my desk and maybe do some podcasting for the most part, be used for some voiceovers, right? That's kind of pricey, right? Other, let me see, let me get, let me bring a, another example into the, into the fold. Now this microphone that everybody knows and loves, this is the Shure SM7B. This microphone, let me double check the price. I gotta, I don't wanna give y'all no false information. That the SM7B, okay, so this mic here is only $400, right? Now, I will let you know, like, we gotta keep it real that the SM7B, um, it lacks a little bit in gain. So, most of the time when people use this microphone, they have to go ahead and get a cloud lifter to go with it. Now, how much is the cloud lifter? Let's see. Let's go there, single channel cloud lifter. Single channel cloud lifter, dang, they must have went up because I thought it was 99 bucks, but the cloud lifter is actually 150 bucks. So 400 plus the 150, that means that for this microphone with a cloud lifter, you'll be paying 550 bucks. Now, as part of their advertisement, Audix is letting us know, hey, this microphone has gained hot enough that you won't even need a cloud lifter. Well, even if I bought a cloud lifter, I'll be at 550 versus the 800 bucks that this mic is. So there is a bit of a discrepancy when it comes to the price for this microphone in this category. Um, it is sexy. It is, um, the build quality is so much better than even the Shure. Like this Shure microphone with this cable hanging out, that's a little ugly there. And I even have one of these to where this thing has popped out um, on the microphone. Um, it has these controls on the back of the Shure microphone that I'm not really sure what they do. I've never touched those. I don't know if they're, if it's gain, if it's presence boost, if it's an attenuation switch, I really don't know. And I'm ne cause I've never used those. Um, cause it's not clear. And this one has, it's clear, it's written on what these do. So, you know, even though it's more pricey, the sound that you get kind of justifies that price, man. So for the price though, Audix, I'm gonna have to give this a seven out of 10, man. All right, now let's get to the wavy rating. The wavy rating is gonna be what wavy thinks and feels about the overall performance and build and aesthetics, everything that we've already talked about today about this microphone. What is the wavy rating score? Um, well, the wavy factor, I should say, before we total everything up. So the wavy factor, um, just me kind of thinking as a consumer, I would give this microphone a strong eight out of 10 on the wavy factor. Um, the reasons being, A, the price, I just, you know, you know, your boy is a little tight in the, in the pocket. So I don't like to spend thousand dollars on a microphone, right? This is getting pretty close up there to it especially for a dynamic microphone, I think that that is just a little bit um, on the pricey side. And then when it came to the performance, it was just a little small ding there because the plosives just weren't managed as well as I wanted them to. But small thing, I could really EQ that um, out very, very easily or just be a little bit more uh, conscious of how I'm positioning the microphone. So um, yeah, we're gonna go with a strong eight out of 10 on the wavy factor. Which brings the Audix PDX720 microphone to an overall wavy rated score of 94 out of 100. That means that this microphone is a go, y'all. If you need a microphone for podcast and broadcast and voiceover studio work, this is the microphone that I would suggest that you go and grab if you got that 800 bucks. But don't forget that we also are giving one of these microphones away and all of the details will be down in the description below. This is a great microphone, beautifully designed, great warranty on it. And I know that, you know, I don't think you'll have any problems with the build quality either. So let me know if you got one of these microphones or if you plan on copping one in the future down in the comments below. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. Be dope.